Hey everybody, my name is The Never News everywhere on the internet and welcome to a brand new video. Today I want to talk to you about Demonic Toys, a film from 1992 that is a ridiculous, practical effects, silly, but funny and enjoyable horror film that is, as the title suggests, about demonic toys possessed by demons. Toys possessed by demons, and guess what? It's a hell of a lot of fun. I first discovered demonic toys when I was a young teenager I found it in the bargain bin of a DVD warehouse that was going out of business. And you know what? I love this film. It really, really reinforced my love for these types of schlocky, gross out, practical effects filled films, and actually really was a bit of a gateway to other films of the same genre. You know, the Troma films, for example, are films that I discovered after watching Demonic Toys. The Puppet Master films, which were created by the same production company that made Demonic Toys. There is so many plot holes in this film that really you can't approach it in a way that's logical. You have to come to this film, switch off your brain for a bit, and enjoy it. So what the heck is Demonic Toys? Well, there's a plot in here. The film's ridiculous, so here's the setup, right? Here's the setup for Demonic Toys. There's two police officers on a stakeout who are going to be buying weapons from arms dealers who like these dangerous criminals, they are staking them out together. It's a woman and a man, they're in a relationship, they're in a romantic relationship, but they're also police partners. They are currently staking out, they're on a stakeout undercover operation. But it's just the two of them. No other police officers know what they're doing. It's ridiculous. Anyway, they are staking out this really dangerous undercover job to try and pin these these criminals, right? And the woman decides that this is the perfect time to tell her husband that she's pregnant. She tells him just before the criminals show up to sell them weapons, a very dangerous mission. The stakeout goes wrong and they end up in a shootout. Her husband dies, one of the criminals gets shot but he's bleeding out and they run into a nearby toy factory. Instead of calling for backup, she runs after them, probably wants revenge, and runs in there chasing after them. The criminal that is bleeding, he ends up falling into this ritualistic like tomb of the demon and feeding his blood into the demon tomb and gives the demon power to come to life. The demon comes to life and decides to, you know, allow these toys to be possessed and come to life as little demonic minions. <laughs> and at the same time, there is a night watchman. There's a guy that's, you know, a night watchman, a security guard, but he, he hears the commotion of what's happening, but he decides to ignore it and order food. He orders food from a local chicken shop where a delivery driver, a delivery boy comes to bring his food. They're buddies. They decide to have a few beers, but then guess what happens? The commotion happens again, so they go and investigate. And you know what? The demon, the demonic toys are right here, ready to kill them. So we get more people dying, and it ends up the security guard gets killed by these demonic toys. We see him get devoured and strangled, and we really feel the power of the demonic toys. These toys mean business. They're ready to brutalize and kill anybody that they freaking see, and they are ready to do it, and they can't be stopped. These aren't regular toys. These are toys possessed with an utmost evil. They're difficult to kill, they're ready to attack, and they take you by surprise. Remember, there's only four demonic toys at the, in this film at this point, and they're little toys, but they've become all mutated and evil looking. These things mean business, and they kill the security guard, the one guy who had the gun, the one guy who could have got them out of it. So now, our survivors are trapped in this toy factory and we're introduced to a new character, a young girl that has been hiding in the toy factory because her father is an abusive person and she's been living in the toy factory and she believes that the toy factory is haunted, haunted by ghosts. So obviously there's a backstory here and this is a very interesting character. All of these actors, the actors in this movie, it, this movie doesn't deserve this level of acting. The actors are actually really good. They're 
committed to their roles and you actually believe it and you kind of like them. You like these characters even though they're really shallow. You still like these characters. There's a lot here because of the performances. All of these actors do a really great job of sucking you into the story and it's it just kind of doesn't make sense but it works, right? It actually just works. Not to, you know, not to sound like Todd Howard here but this just works. Right? It just works. So anyway, our main characters are trying to get out, but all the dem demonic toys have blocked all of the exits, and the demon reveals his plan. His plan is to kill them so he can become more powerful. So he everybody that he kills, he becomes more powerful. But you know what? He's got a pregnant woman, and the <laughs> pregnant woman, he's gonna possess her and take her son's place. That's his plan. His, his whole plan, the demon's whole plan in this movie, revolves around around him just being lucky enough to have come across a pregnant woman on the same night that he was reawoken. It's balls to the wall ridiculousness, the fact that this, the demon has a backstory where he was an abandoned little demon baby and he's been wanting to come to life for a long time. You know, he's got all these like weird abandonment issues and he really wants to come to life and be born and so he he's gonna basically have sex with the woman so he can get in there and possess her unborn child. It's ridiculous, but you know what happens? We get a big shootout. We get a big demonic toy shootout where the actors are just shooting all of these demonic toys with their guns. Bow, 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 bow. It's ridiculous. It's fun. They kill a bunch of the toys. It looks like they're gonna get out, but then the freaking teddy bear turns into a huge freaking humanoid, humanoid freaking demon rah, coming after them, banging down the walls and just when it looks like it's all over, um, one of our main characters, the police lady, she's about to kill herself and then turns out there's a good toy. So amongst all the evil toys, there's a good toy, a toy soldier who says, come with me, I'm gonna help you. So they come with the, they come with the toy and it turns out the freaking evil demon dude is ready to kill her. He ties her up, you know, he's gonna perform the ritual, but don't worry. You know who's here to save the day? The little soldier boy. Because the little freaking toy soldier ends up being the spirit of her unborn child. It's ridiculous, it's stupid, it makes no sense, but it turns out her unborn child is able to come into this life, possess a toy, and help his mother. It doesn't really make any sense, and I'm probably giving this film too much credit, but it's actually kind of an interesting concept. The idea of afterlife, but also the idea of pre-life. That when you get born, it's like it's like something completely different. You're born as a creature, as a as a as a living being, but before that, you are like a sentience of some kind. It kind of is an interesting concept. I'm probably thinking too much about it, but it's still kind of cool that we can think about this in a weird way. Anyway, Demonic Toys is, it's stupid. It's ridiculous. It's fun though. I recommend you watch it just to see the Demonic Toys, just to see the little creatures killing and being all ridiculous and funny. It's a fun film, and the acting, like I said, it's surprisingly good for this level of film. You would not, if this, if the acting hadn't been as good as it is, this movie would be way, way worse. But it, it all kind of comes together and is an enjoyable flick. So yes, Demonic Toys, I would recommend you watch it because it is ridiculous and it is dumb, good, fun. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Quick video, see you next time.